Look at this guy. Nope. Denied. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh my god, that was glorious. He straight up fell into... <laughs> oh my god. You guys remember way back in the aisle when it first came out, we had access to some skins that we didn't have... Well, we don't have access to now. And this is one of the old Rex skins, actually. Some of you guys wanted to see it again. And I decided... I mean, I could probably mess around with this creature for a while and uh, let you guys just get a feel, a feel for it, but, um, <laughs> I mean, 1,700 health, 30 thirst, 60 hunger, and 1,000 stamina. Like, it still has the outdated stats, and it's just a very outdated creature. So what happens if you bring an old creature back into a game when it's outdated? Well, you probably die to anything. That's a hypo. That's scary as shit. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, you better. You better skedaddle along. That's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> I almost died. Um, Yeah, I was wondering, you know, like, what would it be like to try and play as this guy? Now, I probably can't kill anything because I don't know what my weight class is on this Rex. But I do have different attacks that we used to have for the Rex, too. You guys remember, you'd right-click and you would do the down attack. Left-click and you would attack with your normal Rex Bite. The Rex Bite now, obviously, is like a combination of the two where you can kind of angle it down and it, like, you know, it, it, it does its own thing. It can attack low creatures, it can attack high creatures, but this was the solution before where we couldn't kill Ostros and now you'd have to bite down and, and get them. But, you know, if they jumped into the air, they could dodge you entirely, so you'd have to do the normal bite and try and hit them in the air. This was back when they could latch onto you too. Now, I don't think Ostros are going to be able to latch onto you anymore, uh, from what I understand. And a lot of people, a lot of people say that the animations for this Rex and the turn radius is different compared to the other, uh, other Rex. So I might check that out because I haven't really noticed any of that. Apparently this guy has like a crazy overpowered turn radius, you know, yada, 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 uh, all that fun stuff. And well, I'm going to check that out. I'm going to see what the deal is, but obviously I don't think I can kill anything. Like I really think... I get one shot by anything. I'm pretty sure this guy hasn't been updated. And I'm pretty sure the old hypo stats, like how it would die instantly, apply to this guy too. However, this is probably my favorite looking Rex, to be honest with you. And it's feathered. Funny enough, this guy is feathered. And I like this Rex more than almost every other Rex skin aside from like the albino. And maybe like that red one that we have. Like, look at the detail in this skin. You can just see it. It's just like... I thought something was there. It's just crazy detail. Now, its face is really cracked up and a little bit weird, but, like, you can see all the feathering detail and stuff, too. If I could get a really good close-up of this guy, I'd try to do it. But I don't know. I might be able to do it. Also, I gotta show you guys something before I forget about it. I'm gonna show you guys the mutant... Uh, Horror Shant skin. Apparently, a while ago... Uh-oh. Someone just got... Almost got stomped. I think that's a Carno... Is that a Carno attacking the pew? It is. I, I would... I would argue we could probably kill it. Um, <laughs> there was a texturing bug a while ago. And people think this thing is the stuff of nightmares because there's a giant eyeball, like, on its freaking torso, the Shant. And I wanted to show you guys because I actually thought it was really funny. But here it is right here. This is the Nightmare Shant skin, or... Whatever it was, it's just a bug. It's not an actual skin that's supposed to be in the game. It's like half albino, half textured, yada yada. I think what happened is it drew the wrong texture or some shit, or maybe it just placed it the wrong way. And it caused this monstrosity to be a thing. It kind of looks like, you know the Arc Dev Kit when you put the wrong skin on the wrong object? Well, it kind of looks like that. That's basically what happens when the skins aren't correctly matched up. Like if this Rex's skin was smaller, well then the eyes would be back, or maybe it would just be like upside down or some shit. It all depends how they make the skin wrap around. And I guess now is a good point to uh, to finally do my intro. So, what's up guys? Today we are playing the Isle, obviously. We're not playing Hello Kitty Adventures. And, uh, <laughs> we are the friendly little feathered Rex. Which has been a, there's been a lot of requests for this guy on Twitter. Like, holy shit. A lot of people like this thing a lot. And I don't know why you would like this creature. Is the stamp going down by 10? Yeah, it goes down by 10. Alright, yeah, that's the stamp fix they had before because... Um, 
I think, what was the argument for that? I think they said the map was too big. And how it was made is you used to only lose one stamina back then. And we had a thousand stamps, so we could run basically forever. But at the same time, our stam would regenerate incredibly slow. And then they, when they fixed all of that, they made it so, you know, your stam regenerated. You know, basically everything is scaled down to, this is actually a hundred stam, but it's just a different number value. And it decreases at the same rate as a hundred stam. So you lose it all the same, it's just bigger numbers, basically. That's that's what I'm getting at. There is a huge group of people over there. I'm gonna go over and see what their deal is real quick. Now, before you even ask, this creature does not have any new animation. Well, I think the roars... Is the roar the same? Yeah, all the, all the roars are gonna have the same animations, I think. Maybe a little bit more jagged. The sounds are the same. Yeah, all the sounds are the exact same, basically. So there's no, there's no real actual difference with this guy. His animations might be a little bit different, but I don't play the Rex much anyways to really know. Um, you can also see that its thighs go right into the chest cavity, which is obviously something that's been fixed since uh, since all of that happened. At least I'm pretty sure it's happened or it's been fixed. And this model seems a little bit more jagged and like I don't know. Um, polygonal i guess in shape compared to some of the other creatures like this thing you can see the edges and stuff of the model whereas the other creatures they're really nice sleek smooth there's no real edges anywhere on the carcass or the body of the creature so that's something that you're going to notice with this thing as well now i don't know i i'm, I'm going to ask donnie about it and see, i haven't gotten an update by the on the night vision stuff by the way but i'm going to ask donnie about it and i'm going to see what the deal is with uh with this guy and if you can actually play as this i think the old tsl rex the tsl skins and stuff you will be able to use in the future I think there's something that's planned with that or some shit. I'm not entirely sure, but I have heard it somewhere multiple times. Oh yeah, the trike and the acro. Oh, the trike broke its leg instantly. You don't stand a chance. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. There's uh, <laughs> They updated some stuff with the creatures and they're not done. The acro and the rex, I think, have new shaders. I'll, I might go into single player and show you. Maybe. I don't... Oh god. Is that trike coming for me? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if it's even on our clients or not, but I'll, I'll check up on, uh, on single player and I'll just see, cause we have a list of dinosaurs we can actually see. And I wanted to see if, um, I wanted to see if you could see it or not, but you'll see like the, the textures are, are darker and like less vibrant. And it's just because of a new shader or, or whatever the hell it is that they're doing. Donnie explained it on a stream anyways about all of that stuff. Um, but it's not a bug. People are reporting it as a bug, not a bug. So if you do see it, don't report it. Cause it's not a, it's not a bug. See, I want to test this thing's damage. And I want to see what I can actually do to anything. Uh oh. I want to see what I can actually do to anything. But at the same time, like if I bite something like a Utoraptor and I don't kill it in one hit or two hits, it's going to be a bad time because the guy's going to obviously retaliate against me. So I'm going to really, really hope. I'm going to really, really hope I kill them in one hit. Let me see. Let me see real quick. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is in. This looks darker than normal. So you can see the acro. I'm pretty sure this has the updated stuff on it. If I'm correct, and it looks a lot darker. But it's something to do... Looks a little bit lower quality, actually, I think. It's something to do with a new system that they're trying out um, to... Uh, it's, it's some kind of detail system or some shit anyways to make the, the creatures stand out more, I get. The pew is so small. Wow. By the way, these sizes I don't think are accurate. Just so you know, I don't think these sizes are actually accurate. But it's something to do with them testing out different technology that they wanted to do. Um, with how the creatures look. Well, the Rex is looking pretty good. It's it's such a subtle change though. Like I don't know for sure. God damn that Rex is massive. Look how big that Rex is compared to the other ones. Holy shit. Damn. Yeah I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they did change it up a little bit, maybe. I don't know, you guys leave a comment below. Let me know if you noticed a change, too. I'm on the fence. Because I don't have the original skin to compare it to. Unless this is the original skin. But I don't see how this would be the original skin. So it's basically the dead of night now. We're kind of just stalking through the woods, seeing uh, seeing the site, seeing if there's anything around here that I can, uh, I can attack. Uh, in a little bit, I might go back to the Utah Raptor and we'll check it out for a little bit. Because I know of a clip. I need to try and find it. But I know of a clip that uh, that shows the Utah Raptors latching animations and clawing, and it's like it's going all it's going to town on something side, man. Like it's going nuts, and it's it's a dev kit video from uh, Dondi. 
Um, he streamed it actually a while ago. If you guys don't know who Dondi is, well then he is the creator of the aisle. Obviously he's the guy that would have all of the accurate information as well on the aisle. I'm going to show you guys that I will be blurring out his face cam for privacy reasons because it wouldn't be right for me to have his his actual face cam showing on video too so I will blur that out for privacy reasons but otherwise you will get to see the animations for the uh, for the Uteraptor and its latch and jump and all that stuff um, he also explains a little bit about management of this creature and when you latch on to things in the future you're going to have to manage your stamina because if you if you latch onto something and use up you use up all of your strength trying to kill whatever it is you're on and you fail to kill it it's going to come back and kill you how about we don't kill me, please, and thank you? Because I don't think I can do anything at all. I actually camouflaged really decently in the woods. Like, I'm pretty good here right now. Uh-oh. You don't see shit. You know what? I'm actually going to sit down and regenerate my stamina a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. All right, stamina's back at full. I mean, maybe I could just brave the storm and go on in there. I <laughs> what if I just casually walk up? Hang out with them, and I just bite down on someone. I'm pretty sure the acro would one-shot us. The hypo would definitely ruin our day. The acro would probably ruin our day. Everything will probably ruin our day over here. It's okay. We'll give it a shot. We'll see, see what the deal is. This guy, he just like pecks the water. It's so unrealistic for the drink. He doesn't like scoop it into his mouth. He just pecks the water. So yeah, they definitely changed the uh, drink animation at least because now the new Rex, it like swoops its head in and, and you know, gets water in its bottom jaw and then like moves its head up so it goes down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, he's so doomed. Oh, that poor guy. And he broke his leg. Really? Acros can break legs? I didn't know that. That's different. Okay, so I don't really feel like risking retaliation or killing someone needlessly randomly. So this guy's actually agreed to let me bite him and see how much damage he does. Or how much damage he takes, I mean. I'm just going to confirm if he is at full HP. Alright, he's not at full HP. He's only missing 100 health. Alright. So let's see. I hit him. What? Did that hit? There. All right. I hit him again. Ten damage. All right. Let's see. I'm probably gonna die instantly from one acro bite. Let's see. Yep. Insta died. No weight class. No nothing. And that's all the Feathered Rex had to say, I guess. Let's move over to our Oster... Was it... I think it was the Oster I said wouldn't have latching capability and the Uteraptor will have latching capability. I think I said something about... I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure anyways. Yeah. But regardless, Uteraptor, Giant Claws... We're going to go ahead, we're going to check out the clip from Dondi's stream, and uh, let's just see what this thing is going to be all about when the latch mechanic comes back in. Is that when they stay on these dinosaurs, they themselves are draining stamina. So if a Utah Raptor has like a quarter stamina, they jump and latch on. They're not going to be able to do much before they fall off, and then they have no stamina to get away and they're going to die. So it's about stamina management, which means, you know... Your Utah packs are relegated to hunting what they easily can can jump on um, and basically take turns because they're they're pack hunting wear it down over time. Otherwise, the Utah Raptor hunts small game that's a little bit smaller than. Her. All right, so that was the animation for the Utah Raptor, and you can see when it latches onto something, like it's gonna claw, it's gonna use those giant hooks, it's gonna do some crazy animations to try and kill whatever it can. You're probably gonna cause a lot of bleed damage too in the process, but you don't want to hunt big game. At least alone, because you're gonna have a very bad. You're just. It's gonna be a bad time. Like you're not gonna kill it, and you'll probably use up all your stamina in the process. And then that thing will turn around and say, "Hey, it's my turn," and uh, then you're dead. So I've returned to Marsh, and uh, I'm an albino now. Um, getting into the Utahraptor more. I remember when the Osteraptor could latch and bite, and uh, I don't think those days are ever gonna come back because I don't think the Osteraptor is part of the um, part of the Pouncer class. Now I do know. 
that Karno might be a bad time. Oh, I didn't make it. Shit. At least I didn't break my leg, though. Try that again. That guy's bite me! Ah, no! Ooh. Ooh. Nope. You don't get bites on me, good sir. Oh, man. That was, uh... That was a little bit scary. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. I gotta watch out for that guy. Right there. Ambush position. Yeah, you think you're gonna ambush me? Oh no, I see you. I see what you're doing. Yeah, I don't think the uh, Osteoraptor will ever have the uh, pounce again, because I don't think it was a pouncer, it was in the pouncing class. I think the, uh... Oh, no, hang on. Look at this guy. Nope! Denied! <laughs> I just... <laughs> Oh my god, that was glorious. He straight up fell into the... <laughs> oh my god. That has to suck. That has to suck so bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna taunt him a little bit. Hang on. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Can't do it. I'm gonna get away from there now. Oh god, that was great. That was great. Fell down, broke your leg. That's like instant karma. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the, the Uteraptor and the, uh, Osteraptor. I think they're in different classes, guys. I don't think they're gonna be able to pounce. Um, I, I think, what is the Osteraptor a part of? Damn it, I can't remember. I can't, I can't think right now, okay? I haven't eaten. I'm tired as hell. I, I just, I cannot function right now as a human being. Oh, well. You guys get the idea. We got to see the latch animations. They're pretty cool. And, uh, I want to know your thoughts on them, guys. What you think about it. I think it looks a lot more fluid compared to when the Osteraptor could latch. Because, uh, way back in, like, V2... The Osteraptor could latch onto things and bite the crap out of it, but, like, you kind of just stuck onto it and you taxied around. If you check out, like, one of my really old Osteraptor videos, you'll probably see footage of me jumping on someone and, like, getting taxied around. Like, a lot of us would just jump on top and we'd be, <laughs> we'd be, like, chauffeured around on, like, the back of a Rex or something. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that Rex that tried to kill me. And that's the guy right there. Oh yeah, he's gonna try. Oh yeah, I saw you. <laughs> he's trying so hard. I just gotta keep on juking around this. Watch out for the other hypos that might want to eat me. By the way, face cam was ordered, just so you know. It's, uh, order was placed and it was just shipped today, actually, so, uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to the idea. There's a guy right there. You. you want to fight? You want to go? Uh-oh. I, I think your friends want to go, actually. Let's not do Let's not do that. Maybe I can jump down and... Hang on. Let me just do something real quick. I'm pretty sure he can bite while sitting. Trying to get me through the mountain. What the hell, dude? You can't, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. This is going to get me killed. This is... This is going to get me killed. Oh, shit, I bit him! <laughs> Run away! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God, that's... that's great. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, guys, I'm ending the video. I'm too tired to do anymore. I'm, I, I have things to do, too. So, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Helps me a ton, and I appreciate it an absolute dick ton. Let me know your thoughts on the latch animations and all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next video.